First, I must say that this list is my personal opinion and you're welcome to your own. Now that that's out of the way, let's get on with the list. At number 10, we have The Legend of Dragoon. This is a turn-based RPG where you, the protagonist, get to use dragon powers to fight other people with dragon powers in order to steal their dragon powers. The game tells a tale of power, revenge, friendship, and love. So if that's your sort of thing, go for it. The game does have some problems, such as pacing issues, as well as a plot that really goes off the rails at the end, and combat that is by no means innovative, and that's why it's at number 10. I came across this game fairly recently, so it is by no means nostalgic for me. So I say it is well worth a spot on this list. At number 9 we have Tekken 3, arguably the best of the Tekken series on PS1. I must confess that fighting games aren't exactly my forte, nor do they hold my interest for very long, however Tekken 3 is an anomaly. It was in fact the first game that I owned and naturally I played it until I unlocked and learned everything about it. Therefore, it is quite difficult for me to be objective about this game, but it's on my list so who cares. The game was very impressive for its time, including its spectacular cutscenes. All the characters have different fighting styles, so it offers diversity in its combat and still holds up to this very day. It does have its own share of problems such as a poor plot, competitive gameplay, and very bizarre minigame. But if you have some friends, it's guaranteed to be a good time. I imagine that not many of you have ever heard of this game because it is a very obscure game. It is, however, the only good Peter Pan game out there, to my knowledge. Out of all the games on this list, this one is the most nostalgic for me as it brings out to me the sense of being a kid again. The story and gameplay are nothing to write about, but it is very charming trying to recapture the spirit of the original film. For me, this is a cool-off game I use to relax for when life gets too complicated. So in a way, this game's simplicity is actually one of its major assets. This game was developed during the time when Disney games were actually pretty good. So work has been put into this game. If you want a game which to cool down to, Go with this one. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to experience a spaghetti western with an RPG form? Well, you can with this game. The game takes place in the Old West where guns were outlawed, but in order to protect everyone, the protagonist must break that law and form his own path. You only have to look at the intro to know what I'm talking about. This game is well deserved to be on the list. At number 7 we have the original Spider-Man. This game was so impressive that Stan Lee Welcome provided narration for believers and newcomers May he rest in peace. Spider-Man co-creator Stan Lee. The game features the titular Spider-Man as he's framed for something that he didn't do as he is hunted down by the police. Hold it, Spider-Man. Along the way he encounters many today. heroes and villains, sure. either helping Daredevil. him or impeding his progress. Whoa! 
Upon replaying it, I noticed a lot more humor that flew over my adolescent mind. So if you played this game in the past, it's give it a revisit sometime. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Hey, Spidey, can you get us Captain America's autograph? Oh, brother. Punisher, do you have any threes? Go big. Spider sense tingling. Something's going on here. For me and many others, this was the first stealth game we ever played. Back in the day, the espionage and stealth genre was still a relatively unknown concept. That all changed thanks to Metal Gear Solid, forever revolutionizing the gaming industry. You play as Snake, a man tasked to take out a group of terrorists in Alaska by yourself. It isn't perfect, but it still leaks above the rest. It does suffer from some repetitious gameplay, but you'll be so engaged in the story and characters that it will hardly be noticeable. The story is obviously the main pull to this game, offering many twists and turns in its narrative to always keep you guessing. All in all, this game definitely deserves to be on the list for its story and lasting impact on the gaming industry as a whole. See you in hell, Liquid. That takes care of the cremation. Okay, let's get the bad things out of the way first. One, the voice acting is terrible. So terrible, in fact, that it has become infamous. I'll show you no mercy. Now get ready! Two, the cutscenes aren't the best in the business, looking very outdated and cheap, to be honest. Other than that, the game looks and sounds magnificent. The gameplay stays mostly the same from the other X games, but it does add an additional character in Zero, who brings his own mechanics to the game. I consider this to be one of my favorite Mega Man games in the entire franchise, and my second favorite in the X Games overall. So if you want to play a game with fun and challenging gameplay, then this is the game for you. Please believe me when I tell you that Crash Team Racing is the best kart racing game out there. Even better than Mario Kart. When I was a wee lad, I played this game constantly, and I could still be anyone in it after all these years. The story to this game is practically non-existent, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't distract you from the game in the slightest. The game is easy to learn, but hard to master, rewarding players tenacious enough to master it. If you have a couple buddies over, this is the perfect game to immerse yourself. Bringing fun gameplay, good design, and being accessible for everyone. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk. How about you? This game is by far the best platformer on the list and one of the best games on the PlayStation 1. You play as Alucard, Dracula's son who wants to kill him as reasons. This game is different from all the other Castlevania games because you don't really play as any one of the Belmont clan. Instead, you see Alucard go through his own troubles and tribulations over what he has to do. This game is also the first in the series to employ an RPG system, so there is a sense of progression as you journey throughout the castle. The game is perfect for its music, gameplay, and story. It absolutely deserves the number two spot. At last, at number one, we have Final Fantasy VII. I don't think I have to tell you how brilliant this game is. Everyone has at least seen or heard of this game at some point in their lives. 
So I can't really say anything new about it. But what I can do is tell you my own experiences while playing this game. I played this game relatively late. It wasn't even my first Final Fantasy game. Ironically, I discovered Final Fantasy VII from playing Kingdom Hearts. The thing that grabbed me was the story, as I imagine it did so for many other people. My favorite part of this game was the side character stories and how the past affected them. All I can say is that the game deserves all the praise that it gets. So, do you agree or disagree with my list? Please leave your comments in the comment section. And I hope you like what you saw. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.